If you look at this side, look at how this comes in much more than this side. I've had over the years, many, many patients say to me, oh, you know, why did you take out more fat on this side than the other side? Because this side has a better shape. But the reality is I really didn't. That's the underlying body structure. And so I have a patient here and she's really nice. She said she'd be happy to share. She has scoliosis. And because of that curvature of the spine, you see it in the front as well because it's not just that her back is, is crooked, but it, you see it in the front. She has a really nice shape and she's gonna have a really nice result. And I don't think it's gonna take away from the result at all. But I, it's sort of my obligation to say like, hey, listen, this is something that I cannot change. So what you can see just right away, I haven't done anything. I just did some preoperative markings. And this side sort of comes down here, okay? And like I said, she has a pretty uh, beginnings here. I'm just gonna fill this hip dip in so I can get that OG shape. But if you look at this side, look at how this comes in much more than this side. These are just asymmetries that can happen. And these are some things that we cannot correct with surgery. So you could even see, here's her scapula here. And you can see that this really comes out a lot more uh, than this side does, for example. And even if you look at this crease, she really doesn't have much of one over here. And you can see me drawing down her spine and then my marker kind of took a little turn because her, her this is the scoliosis. And it, it's really present throughout. And scoliosis is not just present only in sort of this two dimensions. It's also three dimensions. So not only is the spine move, but the, the chest and the whole torso move. So here, this is kind of projecting, the side is projecting more than this side. And so that's the side that comes in more. So I've explained it to her. So she's, she, and she knows, I mean, she's grown up like this. So she knows that this side will look like it's coming in a little bit more than this side. They're both gonna come in more. She's gonna have a really nice result because she naturally has a very narrow waist and she has a lot of fat for whatever reason in the love handles and through the key area. So that's what I always call the winning combination when you have a small waist and a big fatty deposit because we remove that and it's a very dramatic result. Keep in mind when I'm doing any type of surgery and plastic surgery in, in, ter in terms of the cosmetic surgery, most of the time we're just operating on this layer, the skin and the fat, and we're nothing to do with the rest of the body. We're not in the, we're not in the abdomen, we're not in the chest, we're not in the pelvis, we're not inside the body. So we're working kind of outside of the skeleton. We can't change a skeleton. And so some of the skeleton or some of the normal features of the skeleton are there that we can't change with difference in how things come in that are still going to be there afterwards because we're just operating in this plane.